Hi. I've got good news. I fixed the white bar problem that was occurring in every single video that I made. Uh, I know when you saw all my videos, uh, you saw like a squiggly white bar that kept on annoying the heck out of you and me. And to my frustration, I cannot fix it until now. Uh, I fixed it. So, Mark, uh, I fixed it. I'm so happy. I'm happy right now. Because I fixed that annoying, vexing problem that has been going on for like a week now. And I couldn't solve out what was happening and stuff like that. So, I fixed it. That's all. Bye. And basically, as there's, there's, there's a vacuum in there, a partial vacuum, that has air in it, and as temperature rises, the black side absorbs more energy than the white side, thus it becomes more energetic on the black side, and as air approaches the black and hits the surface of it, it the air molecule actually has more energy than it did when it hit it. So it rebounds with a great impulse, a large impulse, that is much greater on the black side than it is on the white, causing it to spin clockwise. Okay. We're going to see this effect the opposite. And I'm going to cool the temperature, and the, the black surface is going to radiate more energy than the white surface just because of the property of its color, just the color, uh, has such a profound effect. Same material um, on each side, but different color. And that's the major effect. And it's going to radiate more energy. Thus, it's going to um, get colder faster. And the white is not going to radiate that much energy. So it's going to get, it's going to stay warm warmer than the black surface. And so you're going to see exactly the opposite. Where it's going to go counterclockwise. I'm going to show you this right now and I basically have this big vat uh, or, or different bl blender of, uh, of ice and water and I put a lot of salt in them so it, it should be about zero degrees centigrade and I hope you appreciate that I'm sacrificing my blender for this profound experiment. Though this main reason for being in existence was to measure the impulse or momentum acted by a photon, which <laughs> it completely did the opposite. It went the other way because the photon momentum um, an impulse acting on the surface of the, the plate is not as significant as the air molecules impulse acting on the plates. So that's why I failed. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to put this in here. Here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, 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 it's going the other way, yeah. Counterclockwise. It's, it's really quite profound. Look, it's going faster and faster. Jeez, this thing is really booking it. <laughs> so like I said, uh, the, the energy from the black side is leaving. And so the white side has more energy, more thermal energy than does the black. So when the air molecules hit it, it's it's basically rebounding with a much energy, greater energy than it left, and um, creating a large impulse. And you can see this. It's much greater than on the black, but it's kind of slung down because temperature is reaching equilibrium. 
and it's fogging up. See, this is really cold water. <laughs> I have my hand, my finger on the surface, and it's still kind of cold, <laughs> barely touching the surface. This is really cold. Slowing down, and it looks like it wants to stop. No, no, it's cool. The temperature of the surrounding is cooling. So, there you go. There it is. Now I'm going to take it out. So really cold, and we see condensation. That's basically the air uh, molecules floating through the atmosphere are in the room, basically condensing. And when it condenses, it's taking away energy. Or no, no, it's uh, sorry, the opposite. It's giving energy to this thing, and thus heating it up. So that's why it's going the opposite direction again and the black is absorbing energy thermal energy and thus hotter than the white it's going to cause the molecules to have a, a great impulse and move it in the opposite direction the clockwise direction and we're seeing that and that concludes this amazing amazing of nature. The mess the experiment caused. Jeez, guys. I to mop the floor now. To clean this table off. It's super wet. I really hope you guys appreciate this. <laughs> Look at my blender. I have to wash that. I have to drink out of that tomorrow morning. So I have to wash it thoroughly. <laughs> um, jeez. And it's 12 o'clock. And I'm sorry I wasn't as enthusiastic as I usually am with these videos, but I have to kind of be quiet because everyone's asleep and I'm really tired. So, uh, so don't criticize me for my video not being that enthusiastic. So, okay. I have to mop the kitchen now. See ya.